Alrighty, so what we have here is a couple of BR-150s from Battery Evo and my cat. You gonna help me? You unbox that one and I'll unbox this one. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some super cheap DIY bare bones 4S lithium battery kits from Battery Evo that they sent to me for a future project. We're not gonna be doing that in this video today. Today, we're just gonna be looking at the batteries and the kits uh, basically while I'm waiting for stuff to show up for that other project. All right, so these kits that we're gonna be looking at from Battery Evo, they're called BR150s. They have two different options. The first option is you can get one with a BMS or pretty much everything you need to complete a working battery. The second one only comes with bus bars. So if you have a favorite BMS, you can use that. All right, so real quick how this video is gonna go. It could run long as my videos usually do. I'm gonna have chapters down in the timeline. So if you wanna skip around, you can. How the rest of the video is gonna go, the first thing I'm gonna do is give you the price because everybody wants to know how much everything costs. And I'm gonna get the price right off their website. I'll Put that right on the screen and from there we'll probably go right into the battery specs and bms specs the next thing we're going to do is take a quick look at the cells and then we're going to basically unbox the bms kit and take a look at all that stuff after that i think what we'll do is assemble the bms kit right on the battery and then the bms is supposed to have a low temperature cutoff so we will test that as well and a side note is the low temperature cutoff sensor or the bulb or whatever you want to call it it's only like this long and it's underneath the circuit board here I'll show you I'll show you later on I can't put it in some ice cold water or anything like that like everybody else does so I'm gonna have to improvise I'm gonna be using this air in a can pretty much the trick is is if you hold it upside down it sprays out some I don't know probably something harmful but it gets really cold we'll just spray that right on the temperature sensor and see if the low temperature cutoff works after that I'm just gonna charge up the batteries off camera and then once those are charged we'll do a capacity test. All right, we got lots to do, so let's get to it. All right, so the first thing on the list is the battery price, and this is gonna be at the time of this video. All right, so like I said, there's two different kits. First kit that comes complete with the BMS and everything you need to get you going is only $549. The second kit that only comes with bus bars is $399. Basically, it's $100 a cell, all right? So four cells, 400 bucks. All right, so right to the specs, the one that comes with the BMS. Obviously, these are lithium iron phosphate cells, so they're pretty safe for pretty much any kind of project you have. All these cells are right here in the United States, so you don't have to wait three to four months from shipping. The nominal voltage is 12 volts. Voltage range is 10 to 14.5 volts. Nominal capacity is two kilowatt hours or 150 amp hours. It's already a 4S configuration. BMS specs down here says 500 amp peak, 120 amp charge, and 200 amp discharge. And again, like I said, it does have a low temperature disconnect. So this kit with the BMS, the dimensions of everything is nine and three quarters by nine by 11, and it weighs around 56 pounds. And if we scroll down into this little advantage area, it states that these cells are recertified. Basically what I'm gathering is they're probably from something else and they test them three times each and are guaranteeing 150 amp hours, which we're gonna test. This guarantee is also for three years and you should get 2000 cycles. The other kit is pretty much the same. However, it comes with bus bars and bolts. Alrighty, so here's the batteries right here. As you can see right on the top, you have a positive, a negative, and the pressure relief port right in the center. Uh, since these are already pre-configured in a 4S kit, you know, they're already staggered for you. So negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, nothing really much else to see on the top. You can see on the side, they've already got these black straps on here. There's four of them. You know so they're already compressed for you you don't have to do any of that stuff i also noticed the dimensions were a little bit different from the bms kit versus this kit so on here these are just under 11 inches wide 11 inches tall and seven inches wide the other kit is including the bms box and all that kind of stuff so I guess if you're just getting the super bare bones kit with just the bus bars only, you know, the dimensions 
are a little bit smaller. So yeah, there you go. Nothing much really to see other than it's already compressed and it's already in a 4S configuration. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the BMS and all the parts that come with it. And then I guess we'll just open it up and take a look at the inside. So this is pretty much the BMS and everything that you need to assemble the battery. Inside, we have a nut driver, which is 13 millimeters. We have eight bolts here, and these do have the flat wire washer and a lock washer on it so that is nice and you get eight of these next thing we have is a bunch of little plastic standoffs all right so you do get a 175 amp diy anderson connector and two terminals these look to be roughly 6 awg so there you go diy anderson kit underneath that we have the circuit board which is also the bus bars so there you go battery evo br4s and this also has the balance lead connections right over here all of those basically go out to a bus bar. So that's kind of cool. Bottom side, we do have a temperature sensor. You also get this plastic cover, which will cover all the connections once the battery is assembled. There's also a little cutout right here where the wires are gonna go through. So that's kind of cool. And then underneath that, we have the BMS. All right, so here you go. Here's the front side. We have a voltage display. Top side, we do have a circuit breaker, which is 250 amps, 175 amp Anderson input. And then you have a battery positive and negative and the balance wires already in their little plastic connector right here. These are four AWG. I don't know if you can see that very well, but these are rated for 200 C and these are the silicone flexible wire. So that's pretty nice. They Negative side's got this little protective cover on it or whatever that is. And this whole box right here is not the BMS. I'm guessing the BMS is somewhere on the inside. So we'll just go ahead and open this up and take a look on the inside. Now, obviously to do that, there are six Phillips head screws right around the outside edge. So we'll pull those off real quick. When you pull this off, there should be some wires attached to that little LED display. Uh, so be careful if you do pull this off. And there you go, the voltage LED display. Doesn't look to be anything too special, but there it is. Inside we have the positive from the 175 amp Anderson connector, which goes to right here. The negative side goes in through the circuit breaker, out of the circuit breaker and into the BMS. The negative side of the BMS goes out into the battery. So that is all good. Here is the BMS, it's the Battery Evo brand, 4S. 12.8 volts and 200 amps life po4 3.2 volts balance port etc and then it gives you a little diagram on there all that looks to be just fine there is another little red and black wire here off to the side i'm not exactly sure what that does but they've got it kind of closed off and heat shrink the voltage display goes right over to the anderson connector everything is nicely attached you know, nothing is loose that I can tell. All right, so there you go. The other kit is pretty much the same. However, it comes with bus bars and bolts. I mean, I'm not sure what else I could show you on that one, but. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do is assemble the BMS kit, you know, basically put the battery together. So like I said before, this is a super cheap DIY kit. It's a bare bones kit. The reason it's so cheap is it doesn't come in a metal box or a plastic box or anything like that. It comes with a cardboard box. For this video, I am gonna be using the cardboard box because I've seen a million, okay, not a million, but I've seen a lot of videos where people just mount the BMS right to the battery. You can do that if you want to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna mount it right to the box. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to grab the circuit board and set it on the top. Now you can set this pretty much on either side and it doesn't really matter because the negative is here and positive is here. Same for the batteries, negative, positive. Even if we switch it around, it's all the same. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna be going on this side, the smooth side right here. This side's got the staples where the cardboard comes together. The reason I'm gonna do that is because the BMS is gonna be stuck to this side. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make sure the balance connection is on the same side. 
All right, so you set that guy on there. Next thing we're gonna do is install all the bolts except for the main negative and the main positive because the BMS still has to be attached to those ports. So we're just gonna grab the six screws here and put those in. All right, so when tightening down the bolts, you don't have to be a gorilla or anything like that. You just wanna make sure they're nice and tight. All right, that's it for that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put the BMS on the side of the box. Again, if you're using the box, you know you can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna be putting it on this side and I'm gonna be using this really cheap double-sided foam stick tape that I got from the hardware store. Technically, you could wrap this whole thing with tape if you really wanted to. And that's it. Just give it a little smashy smash and we're good to go, all right? That's pretty much it. It's, it's on there nice and tight. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is pull out or push in the excess wire that you need to make sure we can reach the positive side over there. All right, that's good. And then pretty much the same for the negative, which it all looks good. Here's my cat. And then we're gonna go ahead and install those. So I'm gonna do negative first, same thing. You don't have to be a gorilla or anything like that. You just want them nice and tight. Finally, we just add the balance connection right down here. And that is super easy. Yep, super easy, right? And there's only one way that this can go on. But we'll go ahead and get that installed. All right. Balance lead installed. Alrighty, so now we can just turn it on by hitting the circuit breaker to make sure it works. And it looks like we're sitting at 13.4 volts. Alrighty, next thing we're gonna do is the low temperature cutoff disconnect test. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be using this can of air upside down and let it blow the cold stuff out. Now again, I don't know the temperature of this or anything like that, so we just have to make do with what we have. All right, so I'm gonna put a charge on the battery uh, with this little tiny power supply here. Okay, alligator clips are on, and if the low temperature cutoff works, the amperage will go down to zero. So let me give it a little bit of a charge here. All right, we're at like three quarters of an amp. There it goes, went down to zero. And as soon as that warms up, the charge should come back on. So, so far it's working correctly. There we go, came back on and now we're charging again. So the low temperature cutoff works great. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put on these little plastic standoffs here. And this is gonna be for the plexiglass cover that goes right on top. So as you can see, all of these have holes in it, which line up with the holes on the circuit board. So these are super easy. Basically, you just push them into the hole and that's pretty much it. And to put the cover on, obviously you wanna make sure this cutout is sitting over the wires and push it on. That's pretty much it. how it's a little bare bones kit you know you can use the box if you want to real simple and easy all right so what we're going to be doing now is a capacity test and we're going to be using this little discharger right here i think these can only do 150 watts discharge so if i do that at 12 volts it's right around 12 amps so if these are 150 amp hours you know it should take 12 or 13 hours so uh, we'll get this set up and get the test going All right, so we got 159.68 amp hours, 2,026.95 watt hours, and it ran for 13 hours and seven minutes. Not bad at all, 159 amp hours out of the advertised 150. I like it. And I also like how these look all bare bonesy and stuff like that. Is that even a word? Probably not. Anyway, I also tested for the other cells individually and I got 158 and 159 amp hours, which is great. Oh, and there's one other thing I wanna mention about these kits is these are not starting batteries for cars or trucks or, 
or boats or anything like that. Although that kind of would be a good test to see what happens. Okay, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see me attempt to start vehicles and trucks and all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see me try to start some engines because I'll do it. But really though, these batteries are more for like, you know, solar backups, RVs, campers, vans, uh, trolling motors on boats, you know, that kind of stuff. Plus, they're even beginner friendly because you can get the BMS kit, you know, and it's super easy to put together. Or if you have your own favorite BMS, you know, like one of these right over here, you know, then you can get the kit with the bus bars only. That's for another day. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. I've wasted enough of your guys' time. If any of you guys or girls are looking for some super cheap DIY bare bonesy battery kits that are here in the United States, you know, you can get them pretty quick. I'll have a link to Battery Evo down below. That's almost a rhyme. I feel like a rapper. Just kidding, I don't. I don't feel like a rapper. And of course, if you wanna save a few bucks, you can use my discount code GEO10. As always, it's not required, but always appreciated because I do get a small kickback from that, which helps out the channel. Oh, and one last thing before I go, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on these kits down below. Also, let me know about the engine starting thing before I start the little build project that I had in mind for these. Um, let me know that in the comment section before I start that. All right, that's pretty much all I got. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next So, I um, uh, forgot what I was saying. Box and, you know, see exactly what's in here. And then after that, I am probably going to, um, hey, pet my cat a couple of times here. Hey, bud. Yeah. And I'm just going to try to get that guy back in there if I can which I should find something that's non-conductive. Amps, which is 150 watts. Otherwise, you'll blow this up. Spoiler alert, I'm just gonna try to power my entire house, minus the 240 volt stuff with two 12 volt batteries. That's pretty much it. So these super kit, super kits, the one that doesn't come with the B-Mat, um, the battery. Alrighty, I, um, I'll see you in a minute.